Welcome back to an all-new episode of the Rated MA Podcast. I am Tavares. I'm Dabrian. And it's that nigga Blake. It's that bitch Blake. Um, (laughs) No, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and like our YouTube channel, Rated MA Podcast. Make sure you comment also. I know a lot of y'all niggas don't want to listen and y'all want to text me. After the episode come out, but we want the, <laughs> we want the responses underneath the video. Um, also, I need to set one thing straight. Uh oh, because a lot of people think me and Blake out here dyking. No way. No. <laughs> <laughs> they say we giving relationship. <laughs> I told them that you ain't no had my, my mint chocolate chip cookie. Uh, uh, this is the type of pussy that you, this is the type of pussy that changed lives. Girl, for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that too that will fuck in your credit. <laughs> I have you putting shit in your mama name. Oh, come on. But yeah, make sure y'all tune in, like, subscribe, and share. Um, anyway, I wanna know, have you guys ever had like a dangerous or unsafe encounter with online dating? Well, yes, I have. Dave is pointing to me. <laughs> well, you know, like, yeah, well, you don't know. You don't know my life. Um, and I guess I'll share it since, you know, we all cool and we family. Um, but, you know, I was young and naive once, new to, like, dealing with men, dealing with men online. This was back when I, like, lived in Michigan. Um... I was talking to this guy online. One night, he persuaded me to, like, come over. And after, like, we played a little game of cat and mouse for a couple months. I was like, it's late, but cool. I'll come through, check you out, see what you're about, see what you're giving. I get there. We watch TV a little bit, chop it up for a little bit. Eventually, we start, like, kissing and grinding. He invites me to go back to his bedroom. I was like, okay, cool. When we get there, he starts to undress. Like, I take off my clothes. I get down to my panties, my mm. little manties. Mm. And, you know, I I rocked his mic a little bit. He mm. ate the box. He laid me on my stomach. And, like, it was cool until he, like, tries to put it in. And back then, I was a little dick tease whore. You know, I just wanted to tease the dick. I didn't really want to fuck nothing. Man, I was whore. pretty much... <laughs> I'm slap the piss out of you. But yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Um, so as he's like trying to shove his dick in me, I'm like, no, stop. And he doesn't stop. And I start screaming. And the more I scream, the harder and the faster he tries to shove it in. Um, so I get a feeling that like he's being turned on by like my screams. So I stop screaming. Mm. I lay there mute mm. and just like black out and let him finish doing what he's doing. Oh my god! Grab my things and hit the door. What? Um, and a part of me wanted to call the police, but calling the police would mean that I would have to explain to them that I was, you know, in a gay situation. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. I met a man online, and then another part of me also felt like. This is kind of sort of what I asked for in mm-hmm. hindsight, going to a man's house late at night that you never met before mm-hmm. wasn't the best decision. Like doing all those things were kind of sort of leading up. Also, to y'all weren't even like kicking it. No, time. I what? never met him. This was my first time ever well, meeting him. Why did you not want to go forward with it? Like, why was there a hesitation? I was a par- I was partly embarrassed and I partly blamed myself. Mm, damn. So I wouldn't I and then I would run into him like I would see him in Detroit and I would see him like at a club and I would just have to like run the other way. Oh my god. What? Yeah. Damn. That's a different Blake though. Yeah. This yeah. Blake today <laughs> ain't so young, ain't so motherfucker. Well, I'm still pretty young. Let me back that up. But <laughs> I ain't so fucking naive, you know. I ain't so naive. I'll set your shit on fire. Um so don't try this shit. You know, it, it's it's crazy because I had a similar story. Really? Um, I'm sure it's very common. Yeah, I was in uh, Chicago, and I was. It was maybe my first like four or five months in a ballroom scene. I was very new, and an uh, older member of my house uh, invited me back to his his apartment. He stayed in a high rise, and uh, I think it's called Boys Town. Yeah, it's in Boys Chicago. Town. Oh, I've never been. And he mm-hmm. he stayed in a high rise in Boys Town. Um, and he invited me back to his house. I kind of knew what was going on. Like, I was like, okay, he likes me. I see where this is going. I don't really, I wasn't really, like, like super into him. But I was like, you know what? I'm in Chicago. Let me mm-hmm. get my life. And I went back to his hotel room. Hotel room. I went back to his house, uh, his apartment. And when we were 
he passed out in the living room. I passed out in his guest room. And this may maybe been like three, four in the morning. Um, I wake up to him over top of me <laughs> trying to undress me. What? And I was like, I think I should be going with this. Like, I think I should. Mm-hmm. this should be, you know, I should be going with this. Because mm-hmm. he was a very, you know, well-respected person in the ballroom scene. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know, maybe I should just go ahead and just do it. And um, I started to open my mind up to the fact that I'm about to mess around with this dude. And then out of nowhere, he punches me in my face. What? Goodness gracious. Punches me dead in my face. (coughs) And uh, once he punches me in my face, my natural reaction is to just start swinging. Why did he punch you? Keep in mind, this dude had been maybe six feet, maybe 200 something pounds. Big dude. I'm a little guy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he just punched me dead in my face. And he was like, I fuck bitches, nigga. I fuck bitches. You about to get fucked. So, hold up. He was on top of you and you was trying to fight it. That's why he hit you. He was on top of me. I was laying on the bed and he he just started feeling on me and then he just punched me in my face. Oh, my God. Out of nowhere. Um, Later, I I mean, in hindsight, I found out that he... uh, he um, did drugs and stuff like that, so he was not himself. So how did it end? Did he actually do it to you? He, uh, how it ended was no. There was no sex involved. He was trying to rip my clothes off of me. I was fighting my way out of the bedroom. I, I was grabbing my stuff up off the floor as I'm just trying to get out of the apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I run to the bathroom because I had to put my clothes on. <clears throat> And I'm in the bathroom getting dressed, and he's, like, banging on the door. And he's like, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go, uh, nigga. But don't tell nobody, blah, 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 blah. Um, come out here so I can talk to you like a man. And he's just banging on the door. So I waited till I didn't hear anything. As soon as I didn't hear anything, I, like, dashed out of the bathroom and ran out of the apartment, ran down the hallway to the elevator. Then he starts running down the hallway. Keep in mind, um, I think the apartments must have had, like, very uh, thin walls Ooh. because we woke everybody on that floor up. Oh, wow. So when I'm running down the hallway to the elevator, there were people just standing outside looking down the hallway like, what's going on? And I remember running to the elevator and I ran down and I hopped in the elevator. I took the elevator all the way down to the first floor and then I ran across the street to, there was a, a Denny's or a Waffle House, something like that, directly across the street. And I ran there and I hid in the Waffle Ooh. House until my cousin came to pick me up. Y'all Denny's. was giving like Diamond and Ebony tea. Come out the back. It, it, you know what? <laughs> I just came here to dance. Right. <laughs> I just came here to dance for y'all. That's it. And uh, left there with a Me Too movie. So is like rape a thing in this? I mean, I didn't even know we was going there, but like, is that big? I think, in it's, I think it's definitely big in our community. And the problem is we no one ever talks about no it. No one talks wow. about it. I think, I think no one ever talks about it. I think like you, there's a guilt there that, um, mm-hmm. you know, maybe I kind of wanted it because I showed up at two in the morning yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So what kind of argument do I have against this person? Mm-hmm. I think people look at it that way. And it's very like for like raping a man is a very new, it's a novel concept. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. rape has been a long, a very long time. But no one's discussing when a man has been violated because there's a certain level of shame. Like, straight men who are violated rarely talk about it Mm -hmm. because there's a certain degree of shame. Gay men, we don't talk about it because we we don't have the tools. Yeah, and there's no... We don't have those words. And there's no no written booklet to to how to to deal with these type of situations as a gay man. Mm -hmm. You know, we're taught to just be men and be manly and be macho. Mm -hmm. And there's no guidelines to how to deal with stuff like that. How to how to how to handle being the victim or how to handle being the, the person that that's causing the issue. So what kind of precautions do you guys take now when meeting people online? I'm a lot I'm a lot growner now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so I don't really do a whole lot of that. I, I kind of like figure you out. I don't. First of all, I told you I was already over Jack. So um, you deleted Jack or what? It's still on my phone. Okay. I just haven't checked it, and I took my Ooh. picture off of there. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm just a lot older now, and I just I just talk to people. When I was on there, I would just talk to people and try to gain a rapport mm-hmm. yeah. before it even gets to a meeting. Mm. Well, if I know of, like, well, first of all, my hand's like Mayweather. Uh, <laughs> it's me and Mayweather. Yeah, my hand's is like Mayweather's. But I, if I'm, like, going someplace, like, sketchy at a weird hour... Someone always knows where I am. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like it, yeah. So I, I'll that, notify. Like oh, if it's five o'clock in the morning. At your house? Would you say if somebody's coming over? Oh, if you come into my house, baby girl, you're not gonna leave. You ain't gonna put your hands on this little lady here and leave here. And think you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and this Bailey and this bitch. <laughs> Wait, so have you ever had like an awkward yeah, dating experience? 
Jones. Cause you, not, I mean, not to that degree, I'm guessing. But you was you you a stern set, like yeah, you were, not you a solid situation. Not no, bitch, bitch. Well, for one, I I prefer to go to other people's house instead of host because I feel like men don't know when it's time to leave. And then mm, I can just get up and leave that. when I'm ready. Mm-hmm. So mm. I haven't really been put in too many compromising situations. But I mean, it doesn't have to be compromising in the sense of like hours. But has well, I, there was this one guy. Well, I mean, this, it wasn't really like I met him offline, but there was someone I knew who liked me for a long time, and they would always flirt with me, and I wouldn't give them no play. And then um, a mutual friend of ours had passed away. And uh, after the funeral, you know, everybody goes to the repast and everything. Mm-hmm. And I said that I was going to leave. I wasn't going to go. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I'll give you a ride because I didn't have a car at the time. And it was far mm-hmm. out. So when we at the party, I guess he decided to make his move. And I wasn't feeling it. And he said, well, if you ain't fucking, I'm not bringing you home. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if you ain't putting out, bitch, you get put out. And, that, <laughs> and he went on about his business and he left and left me there. Wow. Yeah. And some people that I didn't even really know at the time I respect had to bring him me home. home. You respect him, a bitch, because he do you. He did you like you. No, did. I ain't gonna leave no bitch strength. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I don't know. I, I, like know. Like, no, 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 no. I feel like you might leave somebody somewhere. Yeah, I no. feel, or I feel like you would just be that blatantly honest. Like, and I think that was nah, his not that was the blatant honesty. Like, when was at a funeral? <laughs> you like no, that's bitch, put out or get put out. No. All right, so I have a question. Okay, um, and you asked me this earlier, uh, but what apps are you currently on? Ooh. <laughs> well, we know Damon is not on Jack. Damon is not on Jack. Not on Jack. Damon, where you find it, but you can slide through them DMs. I am on Jack. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can slide in the DMs. <laughs> if you know, look, his height's still on there, so bitch, you know 5'5 five, five is Damon and Bitch. <laughs> but no, I'm on Jack. I'm on Grinder and Tinder. That's it. Bitch, I'm on every single fucking one of them. Christian Mingles, Thugs for Sex. <laughs> A for A radar, men for, for now, sex? bitch, yes, T for S, what? thugs for sex. Hold on, where did you hear about that? BGC one? Live, um, BGC Jacked like? Grinder, Hornet. You're not gonna answer my question, bro. How is um? How is <laughs> BGC still how crack? Is BGC now. She still cracks. Okay. Yeah, she's BGC Live. She don't crack crack. Okay. No, where did you find thugs for sex at? What is? That? I mean, like like B- LA Weekly magazine. Or no, this was before I moved here. Thugs oh, for sex. Yeah, like you found this in in Michigan. Oh, I was about to Bitch, say St. Martin. Li- oh, listen, no, honey, when you in a a desolate town like Lansing, you got to cast the broad net so you can catch all oh, the fish. Okay. So do it crack? Probably not anymore. And, oh. I mean, oh, the one that I do like is Bumbo. So if nobody's on Bumble, y'all should. Somebody about told Bumble. me about oh the straights. I like the straights be on Bumble. Yeah, plenty yeah. of fish is also another one. Plenty I'm of also fish. Ma- yeah. I'm also on Match. I am on. I am on. But if you um, want a free match, it don't. It ain't, yeah, it don't. Yeah. I am I'm, on I'm Tinder. On I am on Tinder. Tinder is so lame to but me. But Tinder is whack. It be fun. cute niggas on there, but they so fucking. Let me lame. tell you my problem with Tinder. Tinder people will match with you, and then oh. y'all both will just sit there and be idle. Well, I always there you if, go because I was yes, say, if, if, I, if, I, if you match with me second after I don't like yours, you need to hit me up. If I match on you, I think then it I'm should be. I think it should be fifty fifty. It's no fifty fifty. But if you match, say okay, say me and you match, right? Yeah. I, what you said, match with you second. Yeah. So if I match with like if you've already swiped right for me, right. and I come back on and I swipe right, and, and now we match, match, you need to hit me up. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like. That's and then right. you're gonna be like you just described me. Y'all both sitting there like dummies. I guess you're right yeah, because like, I'm on. I'm actually exactly. on. You could possibly not. But be bitch, on. I'm still swiping though. But, but I, am I don't know what the. I am still no, swiping. No, once I finish swiping, I go back and check. That's it. too complicated. You got an alert on your phone, so if you should hit me. Now the ball is in your court. But when I get in, it's I like a game. I oh, oh, but I don't get an alert that somebody swipe right for me. All oh. I get is somebody liked your picture. Go see who it is. Oh. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that's your cute log. Yeah. But it's like, what do you talk about on Tinder? Because it's not quite a sex site like Jack, quote unquote. So it's like you can't go straight in the sex. But then like, people be so dry. It's like, I but it's be just like, okay, like to, it's just like it's just like no. There you go. <laughs> is that where it goes? There you go. It, it's never for the people that I've talked to on Tinder. It's never going to fucking. We've never talked about fucking. But then, have you ever met anybody off of Tinder? No. Like and hung out with them exactly. Oh no. yeah. See, you don't close the deal. Yeah, I need but to I'm the same way doing. too. We don't. I never talk about having sex on Tinder. But no, it basically, let me tell you, we no. just be having these on Tinder, conversations. Exactly, and I'm not for that. Like, I know, because you want to get to the fucking. No, it's not even about that. I'll be trying to keep it cute on Tinder. I thought Tinder was more for relationships. I keep it cute on Tinder at first, but when they dry as fuck with the fucking conversation, I just be like, so what's up? 
Like you what, gonna come through or what? What are we doing? Oh my god! You gonna slide your penis to the side or what? Like how many times are we gonna say, "Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up?" Okay, but we gonna speak again? You no, be a but, but somebody, but there's somebody in that in in those in that conversation. Somebody needs to say. Let's go on a date. Let's go on a date, or let's meet up, or what's up? Like, and yeah, not why so don't what's you up. Say that? So what's up to me sounds like, oh, this nigga just want to fuck. Yeah. Well, but if you say, hey, your conversation, Jordan. if you say, hey, bro, listen, like, I like you from what but I, I don't seen, like you, you like me from what you seen, profile wise. Yeah, come on. Let's bro. link up. Let's go to. Let's go. <laughs> see, that's where you, that's where you go with it. On Tinder, I don't go there with. Them. When they take when we do three three hey what's ups back to back, I'm like, well, how many times are we gonna speak? And then well, they get the giggling and LOL, and then I'd be like, no. "So what you want here for?" Hey, let's so let's can. let's link up and go have a let's go let's go get some coffee or something. Mm. Let's go to the for what? So you can meet and and discuss things and see what what you all have in common mm. and where you can go with it. So you can't. Well, I guess I don't know. You Do can't. You, you can't just tell just from a picture if you would like somebody or not. No, bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch, just means you looking for the wrong reasons. You looking for a fuck. No, yeah. I feel like when you when you when that <laughs> no, no when, you, <laughs> when you see something you like you already be like oh I can see them as this for me or I can just throw oh uh uh-uh. uh you one of them children who want oh you want to be God. in a relationship for a look you are no, so, no 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 you said you know what you like sign. you're a water sign because I do that too I know what I like I can I, feel it that's I why it. that's why when I when I when I chat with people and God for, for or God forgive me but I um usually if they're super super tall. And I feel like you're, tr- you're you may be like the boyfriend type, but yeah. you're super super tall. I won't talk to you. What is that? What? Is, what? Is, please break that down for me because I don't know what you're talking about. Unpack that shit. Okay. <laughs> so say your your profile says you're six four. Okay. Yes. I love it. Go on, hit me up. <laughs> yeah. You're you're six four, and you're you know you're attractive. You got a lot of great things going for you according to your profile. Okay. And the way I think, the way my mind works, is I'm picturing. If I'm looking at you on some on some dating you type shit, mm. I'm picturing us together. Right. I get visuals of how we would look together. Okay. Now, I don't feel like I look right with anybody six anything. Okay. I feel like if you're five eleven, that's pushing it, but if you're five eleven <laughs> and below, then I could possibly visualize, oh, this could be my boyfriend or this could be a dude that I could date. But if you're six anything, I just feel like there's not much of a future for us. I don't meet guys that I want to date offline. I, anybody, mostly I meet them in person if I'm going to be on some dating type stuff because I need to already like scope you out and know what's up before I even go there with you. Well, no, but you, but you, when you meet them <clears throat> online, then that's when you go. The thing that you are not doing, and that's when you go out on dates and you actually hang out with these people and get to know them. Mm, See, no. you're not doing that. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you pick who you respond to on these dating there sites? You go. Shit. Well, if it's Instagram, I respond to who's ever cute. <laughs> and then if it's wow. like Jack or something, um, if I'm not interested, I'll just you block respond you. to the best pictures. Yeah. On, on uh, Jack, you don't even read the profiles. If I'm not interested, I don't. No. Because sometimes the profiles be very interesting. Yeah. Sometimes they be too long. They writing too much. Now, oh, I can't too. stand that shit. Yeah. Like, I don't need a book. Yeah. No. What about mm-hmm. y'all? Mm-hmm. I like it. Just depends on on the vibe. Sometimes I'll go off a photo, but I'm gonna also go. I'm I'm the person who also reads profiles. Mm-hmm. But if it's too long, I'm gonna give you a full skim, and I'm gonna skim from top to bottom. If you cute, I'm gonna read. And profile. then I'm gonna pick up. Well, I mean, I'm not going to miss out on my blessing. It might not come wrapped the way I want it to look like. I'm not going to miss out on my next billionaire who want to spot. Y'all can let Blake say y'all this life. bullshit if y'all want. This whole shallow. This shit ain't looking for no motherfucking husband. No. I don't know. I do. I, 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 she times. looking for it to say 10 inches of dick to knock the bottom out my ass on that motherfucking profile. <laughs> <laughs> that shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, um. I, I speak to everybody Like I told you before I speak to everybody That speaks to me On social media mm. Now how much conversation We're going to have um, Is very much depending on um, Your aesthetic If I'm looking at your profile And there's not a whole lot That I see that we have in common right. Or I, I feel like Maybe you're trying to you're, Maybe you're coming off thirsty Or whatever mm. I'll, I'll back up a little bit But see I feel like if you respond to somebody that you're not interested in, you're giving them the wrong message. Because no. then they're going to keep messaging you. No, because that's being polite. No, mm-hmm. I don't want to be that's polite. That's being polite. Because nine times out of ten, if you say, hey, if they say, hey, and then you say, hey, back, and then they start having a conversation with you, and then you don't reply, then they're cussing you out. 
No, that I mean that's my experience. But it, it's happened. It has happened. Not on yeah. not on Instagram. Also, but you in, can't speak. You done. Man. No, it, it's usually it's it it depends. On Instagram, a person is like, "Hey," I'm like, "Hey," um, or I'll say something like, "Well, hey, how you doing?" You know, and then they'll say whatever they're gonna say. I'll give them maybe two or three back and forths, and then I'm it. That that's it for me. Um, but, okay, hold up. Another question. Yeah. When people do hit you up, regardless of what side it is. Are you waiting for them to carry the conversation, or do you? Yeah, I am. I'm waiting for you to carry the conversation because you hit me up. No, but I'm saying once once you replied, like, are you re- relying on them to keep it going? Yes. Because they hit you up. Because they hit me up. If you hit me up, you got something to say. Mm, I guess. Uh, do you think that's because you're a bottom? Or? <laughs> So, I mean, no, I know. Some now, people, you, now you bottom no, shaming. Now you bottom shaming. We Stop all bottoms. The bottoms. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of guys in LA, well, a lot of men in LA are bottoms. Let's keep it real. And a lot of people have that attitude of sitting I back. No, I, I don't. I, no, a lot of people have the attitude of he need to come talk to me. He need to do this. That. No, I don't. Nobody's like aggressive enough. No, I don't. Bitch, I don't believe attitude. in that. I don't no, believe bitch, in that. I don't. I don't believe in that. First of all, I'm from the East Coast. And everybody's aggressive for the most part. Even even the submissives are still aggressive where I'm from. Mm-hmm. So I don't look at it like that. I don't play that whole gender role or oh. So why um, just because they hit you up, you wait for them? To I, talk, anybody, even if, you're even if you feminine, if you hit me up, you need to carry that conversation because you hit me. Yeah, up. but if you find them mutually attractive, bitch, get in. I'm going to get in. If I find them mutually attractive, I'm going to I'm going to reply, but I'm going to gonna... respond, and I may give you a little more in my response. Mm-hmm. But if you are not what I'm I'm looking for it's going to be oh well I'm doing all right no I'm talking about somebody you're looking for well if if I like what if I like who it is that's hitting me up then yeah I'm going to respond and I'm going to respond with a more in depth uh, answer to your questions for them to keep asking you more questions right yeah (laughs) what about you Blake no you sit back and wait um well you know I like to play coy. <laughs> Y'all gotta see us rubbing this elbow. <laughs> Come on, Coy. I, I do. I. I mean, because I'm a Southern Belle. Oh I like, God. Let me go get that. Hello. She really sounds good well, tonight. I am very. <laughs> I am very much a Southern Belle. I do like to be chased. Uh-huh. However, I am at a place in life where I'm unsubscribing to that belief. Oh yeah, because you did say a few episodes ago that you were going to start taking something. I want to start, I, and it hasn't it hasn't happened yet, but it, I'm getting close, and I really want you know. So whoever's out there, you want to go on a date, you want a free little meal, you want a little Taco Tuesday, bitch. Well, since they think we they yeah, yeah, take uh, me out for a taco. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I want to eat, bitch. <laughs> you bitch I like time. to eat. You know, <laughs> you know, tax time come a bitch sweet. Okay, take yes, me to Waffle time. House. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Well, speaking of which, okay. So you're not taking me. What surprise if I took y'all? It will be on a date. I want to go out on a date. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I want, like, you know, somebody to pull out my chair. But I guess I'll I haven't been chair. on a date since June of last year, and before that, it's been two years. Can you believe it? I can believe it. You get right to the fucking. No, I haven't met nobody that I connect with like that. Bitch, please. I had Girl, I, know I, what I sat like. here last week mm-hmm. and gave you three motherfuckers. No, gave you three bitch, they wasn't my type. Bitch, they was your type because you took them down. No, I but didn't. You know. Instead of taking them down, you was supposed to take them out, sis. I sent you, you dates for you to take out. I was over there matchmaking and shit. Oh, real successful. <laughs> matchmaking and shit. <laughs> bitch taking the homies down instead of taking them out. <laughs> Get the mm. fuck out of here. Anyway, so when you do meet somebody, how much do you want to know about them like say you come across somebody you like do you run their name by your friends okay well you know I don't get oh, that Lord. because Tavares knows every fucking body he gonna run all they fucking tea all they motherfucking business and he gonna give you the ugly and you want to be left in the dark yeah bitch I want a motherfucker to lie to me like, ignorance mm-hmm. is bliss thank mm-hmm. you 30 beauties in a room it's only me he sees That's right. um but in terms of what I need to know about him I it just depends on what we give him. Like, if it's just the fuck, I just need to know how big your dick do is. I just need to know what that mouth do. Now, if I, I look at you and I want something more substantial, then I want to know, like, what's your credit score? What's your mama name? Mm-hmm. What's your suit size? Mm-hmm. Give me your top 10 friends so they can be invited to the wedding. Because that's all you get. But yeah. that's stuff that you can ask them. Do you do, like, a pre-interview before you... I'm not doing a pre-interview. I don't want to know. I want I want him to come into my life with a clean slate. Because the way he dealt with your ass might not be how he going to deal with me. That's mature. Yeah. And, and then I am not, like, 
<clears throat> Although I like to be ignorant of the other people that you're dating, I'm not ignorant that you're dating other people because I'm out right. here doing what it is that I'm doing. And I know we're not in a committed situation. Mm-hmm. So I think it's very important to like do your research before. Like this past weekend, I was telling you somebody that I found attractive that I kind of liked a little bit. And then the girls was running his news and I was like, <laughs> bitch, I forgot. Oh, I was like, oh my God, I can't like him. He's but then you should have given him a chance. No. Maybe he well, wasn't going to be on board with you. No, he actually has a boyfriend of eight years. But he don't carry himself like that. Right. So, <laughs> that was out. Yeah, girl, you still fucking niggas with boyfriends. And girl. husbands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I said I, I am reformed. Since, since seven days ago? Yeah, girl. Ooh. It's never too late to start over. <laughs> you know the saints is just a sinner who fell down and got it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Johnny. What about you? How much do you need to know, Adrian? Um, I don't run names to my friends. When I first meet somebody, I just want them to tell me what they're going to tell me. So, like you said, lie to me. Tell me whatever, because I'm going to believe you Yeah. Um, until you give me a reason not to. Um, however, I've been in a situation. I dated a guy who um, <coughs> every time my roommate brought home one of his friends to hang out, the guy I was dating would tell me, oh, hey, babe, I mess with them. <laughs> Then another friend would come over. Oh, um, don't be mad at me, but um, oh, I, I no. messed with them too. I w- oh no, I don't want you to be honest with me. Yeah, so I that at that wow. in that in that moment, I said to myself, because no, like, is he telling you trying to make you jealous or no? It wasn't that. He was just he. We were really in love, my ex, and he was trying to be honest with me before wow. shit came got to me. Because he was I respect it. I respect it. Yeah. So, but but in that, uh, even though I was fine with it, like I didn't snap on him because that was before me. Yeah. I still had shit I had to deal with internally because internally I'm like, bitch, now nah, I don't like this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've been liking this person. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So now I gotta. I gotta see, we kind of talked about that last week. Like, if you walk into a room and you see a bunch of people you been with and you with your nigga, do you tell them? I'm not saying shit. I don't have that problem, and I don't feel LA. like the niggas that I fuck with is really gonna run their mouth and yeah, be but like, oh, and try to start no. Yeah, shit. but I don't have that problem in LA because I don't be fooling up with people that. Well, you know, tomorrow other. we just had this conversation. <laughs> with girl. I introduced her to three dates. <laughs> no man, she took them down in two days. <laughs> introduced me to nobody, and don't believe the hype. Be <laughs> <laughs> lying on my name. <laughs> don't believe it. Just trying to keep all the dates for himself, bitch. <laughs> no man. Mind you, I have to. I want to go back to the list of dates because oh my God. I feel like I gave you a potential, like a couple of them that was in like should have been my potentials let me take uh, see I don't you can also it. hand them off to me whenever you want uh, nah you definitely ain't gonna want them okay well never mind then don't uh, hand them right. off to me cause you like a DL kind of I vibe. really don't want you, you to don't want DL. that but you want you like a masculine I guy. just I want you to be a regular ass nigga that I can exactly. take These to my family reunion okay. one of them had a uh, was it a weave or was oh, it his yeah, hair no I don't want that which one was that the brown skin lawyer bitch you took him down to no, I'm oh. no, bro, I want her. <laughs> no, that is his hair. You said so. I like was like, I don't like all that experimental shit. Uh, what do you mean? What like the, I don't like all that hair. It was like stuff. a, it was very. He already thin frame. Okay, I, I can't. We not talking about the ones you passed on, sis. I'm talking about the, no. We you, talking, you talking about the ones you offered me, girl? Was the ones I passed on? No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Keisha. <laughs> Whatever. If you meet someone online, say you meet them on Jack, do you how how long do you give them before they have to delete the app? Ooh, good question. Uh, for me, uh, ooh, good question. We have to be dating and have to have that conversation that we're going to be um, exclusive. Mm-hmm. If that conversation doesn't take place, then I don't I don't, I don't blame him for being on Jack. But do you while be feeling together. some type of way though? Not if I ain't had that conversation, but see, I'm 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 very territorial. Exactly. So when I feel like I'm starting to really fall for you, hey nigga, listen, you gotta take that off your um. So you don't get, you don't wait for him to volunteer. No, I'm <laughs> gonna tell you, <laughs> nigga. I told you I'm from the East Coast. I am very aggressive, low key. So you need to take that off your phone. You still got that on your phone? Why you got that on your phone? You chilling here with me? Yeah. I'm, I say shit like that. Do you need to have a conversation for y'all to be like in a relationship? Uh, I like it. I would. Yeah. I would like a conversation. And I also what I what turns me on the most is when a dude says to me after a while of dating, um, "Listen, like you know, I'm trying to like be with you, like on mm-hmm. some real shit. Like what's up? Just a serious conversation yeah. about taking it to the next level." 
You got me. That like that turns me. They tell on. me that early though. No, that turns me on. They tell me that early though. Like, this but niggas don't even. But nowadays, the way social media is set up dog. and the way just the way how we how like our in, our uh, what is it enter. Uh, Personal communication skills? Interpersonal communication skills are, mm-hmm. are lacking mm-hmm. that we don't have those conversations. Right. You just, somebody will post on Facebook or on Instagram that they've been dealing with you, and now it's just that conversation was had virtually. And it's like we never oh, really I'm, had that I've conversation. Never I've never I'm just saying, but that I'm I'm not saying that you know. But, meaning I don't even know what kind of world we in because that makes us foolish. Yeah, but it, but that happens. That happens more often than not, and people are not having these conversations, and so people are just like, I guess we go together. Like mm-hmm. that situation shit. I'm the I guess we go. And together. I've been in that. I've been in a situation with a guy. I remember right. a guy told me one time, um, we're boyfriends, and I was like, well, shit. I wish you would have told me. Like a I didn't even know. Bitch, like, I was just fucking Curtis. Right. Like. <laughs> like Straight up, child just suck Tully's dick in the bathroom. So what I I'm trying what, to get your whole boy number? Exactly. So what I what I like is I like that conversation to be had. You know, one of the most passionate, lovable dudes that I ever dealt with. He came at me like, "Listen, I know you said you was talking to somebody um, that lived in Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, but I'm here and I'm just trying to see what's up with you. Like, what's up? Like, I'm really trying to be that dude in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Had me. I was done." Cut nigga off in Atlanta so damn quick. Just because I like a good conversation, just talk to me. Right. So if you are dating somebody and your friends don't like them, how important is that to you? That's always that happens with me every time. They I never date like somebody. your man. Never. Why? I've never had a boyfriend that my friends liked. I ever. want my friends to hate my nigga. Yeah. My oh, it depends have, on why they hate him because you're not with these people, obviously. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Was it something that was? Awkward? I think he they were right. the ones his friends liked. I think that they were right. I think looking back on every single relationship I've ever, ever been in, aside from my first boyfriend, um, who was great. But every single relationship I've ever been in, my friends hated every single guy. That's and looking time. back on it now, I know what it was. And I told y'all before, I told y'all like the first episode that I just, I, I got to work on myself because yeah. clearly I don't know how to pick them. Mm. Tavares, so is it important for your friends to like your man? I've never introduced a man to any of my friends. Oh. A boyfriend, no. I've met a couple. A boyfriend. That's one of the boyfriend. What do you classify as a boyfriend? Oh, that We have a one. conversation. Oh. Well, we were at one point in time. But uh, that was, you know him by That boy that you was dating uh, in Riverside, that was your boyfriend? That was my boyfriend, but <laughs> that's a long story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but y'all never had the conversation. No, we had the conversation, but I didn't have to introduce him. I became friends with his friends, so I never introduced uh, him to anybody, really. Okay. Yeah. He introduced you to everybody. Yeah, and I, I don't mind that because I know how to control myself around other people's friends. They get around yours and they want to cackle and kiki and be too friendly and shit what the fuck y'all adding hoes on instagram and shit okay is it inappropriate don't add my nigga on nothing oh no okay oh sorry god damn <laughs> bitch first of all hey, bitch, you know, no, 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 bitch no, you was talking to me like like don't add my nigga on nothing like first of all get yourself a nigga uh-huh. let's start here <laughs> first the fuck up all so what was your question bitch get a nigga so <laughs> That's what I'm gonna ask. Yeah. Is it inappropriate to like? Is it inappropriate for me to be friends with my friends? What is boyfriends? Friends? Like we exchanged numbers recently. No. But if my friend said it was okay, well, he's a dummy. He's not a dummy. because if, he's hey, so let me tell you something. Wait, what's once me and my boyfriend break up. Oh well, no. Well, you know what, my lawyer. But you know, hoes don't do that. Oh, no, they no, no, still no. want to invite them to the barbecue. Baby and shit. girl, no man. They, they don't make them like this no more. Matter of fact, they never made them like this before. <laughs> Loyalty to a fucking fault. Fuck that. You cut that nigga off, I cut that nigga off. Yeah. I inherit your beef. It's too many people who don't live by that. Though. Yeah, they don't live by the code of the streets no more. Oh, I want to be friends with everybody. Bitch, fuck wanna... you. No, man. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like those type of friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, and they are being mature about the situation, but call me what you want, bitch. Petty, immature, I don't give a fuck. I mean, but he some people come. are very secure in that, and I do have friends who don't give a fuck. Like, I have friends who, like, you could date their exes. Mm-hmm. That's not my moment or my story. But. I don't know if I would even trust them kind of friends. That's okay with that. Why? I don't know. Bitch, it's just secure. Like, they don't give a fuck. Call what you These want. hoes is for everybody. I guess. I mean, I get where they're coming from. That's not where I come from. It's different from dating someone and then them dating your ex. Like, you can't have no nigga I ever dealt with. Oh. How about dating someone and Bitch, y'all break up and they, they start dating somebody else that you used to date? Hold up, say it again. Mm, dating, yeah, dating someone, right? Mm-hmm. This happened to me. The only two Ooh. niggas I ever took serious in, that, in, in L.A. both ended up dating each other. 
What oh, they was doing? Do doing a little sword fight? That's what I asked. Oh, oh. <laughs> somebody replying to you? Well, the one, the one said, "Well, I don't know where he told you he was because this is what he was to me." Mm. That's what they you, always say. How do you feel about like PDA with a man in front of your friends? Like I'm weird. I with like that. it. Really? I'm, I'm be like, I feel like my friends be watching me. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm grabby. I'm touchy. Yeah, I, I like all of that. In front of your friends? I don't care who it's oh. in front of. I like all of that. I like to piss on my territory too. Yeah, I like all of that. Oh, yeah. no. What about going to the club with your significant other? Is that I don't do the, I that? don't go to clubs. When you did, and when I was did. a set, <laughs> <laughs> I was a full set. You didn't want to see me in the clubs. Oh. I can't go to a club mm-hmm. with a boyfriend because you can't really be like, yourself. First, well, I can, but he can't. <laughs> that that bitch, but not say spit, spat off spaghetti uh, to the. <laughs> Spit, spat, or spaghetti. I ain't been getting so long. Spat, motherfucking spaghetti. Oh, my God. Would you like cheese with that, bitch? Oh. I'll wear your ass out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not with none of that. <laughs> it's never ended well, like, going to the club with my exes. Oh, God. Can't, are you allowed to, like, dance with somebody else? Or no, nigga. Bitch, I would. Not in front of you, but if they go by themselves. No. Bitch, I Do you the fuck off. If you go by yourself. Come on, Jay. Uh, <laughs> yes, we'll go over the little side show. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? I remember. You I remember, might wind up on it. I remember. I uh, was just coming out, and I was at this club in Atlanta. And I remember the the guy that I was talking to. He he didn't dance. He didn't mm-hmm. like to dance. And I remember going to him and saying, "Cause I like to dance." And I remember saying to him, "Hey, my friend want to dance. Can I go dance with him? Are you okay with that?" Mm-hmm. And he was like. I, uh, I, I guess And I was just like Okay And I went And I started dancing With my friend And he jumped out there And grabbed me And pulled me away From my yeah, friend And y'all doing Like a little R. Kelly Two step facing each other But ain't no grinding and no I wasn't good. grinding I was being respectful But yeah. I wanted to Dance I wanted Bitch to was it Sunday school Could they put a ruler Between the two of y'all Possibly Was your ass Facing his dick Was his Possibly. Was his ass what? Facing my dick Oh Ooh. Bitch please <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I feel that way. So you're dating somebody, you mm-hmm. find out the last thing they dated was whack. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is that a deal breaker or it's not a deal breaker? But I've I've looked at some of my I've looked at some of my dude ex dudes boyfriends and be like, oh well, shit, I was out of his league. Yeah, mm, I've done that. Much. Like, oh well, all the time. I was. It was you know that was it for him. Like. And even now, looking at what he's with now, I'm like, okay. Like, Whoa, he got a new boyfriend? Your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh. My well, ex. Yeah. They announced it or somewhere or something? They, um, they was at the party. They was at Kirkland's party. I mean, how you know that's his man or that's just somebody he fucking? Um, I know. I know because he told me. Yeah. Oh, y'all still talk? No, we don't talk anymore. We haven't spoke um, since he said he wanted to fight me. Oh shit! <laughs> since, he told me, since he told you he had a new boyfriend, <laughs> he said he wanted. To, he said he wanted to fight me because I told him I didn't respect him anymore. So he said to me, um, "Well, if you don't respect me, then you're disrespecting me." So oh, when I see, ooh, so when I see you, a, that kind of like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. so he said when I when I see you, it's on. I said so. Explain. I said so. Uh, Explain to your boyfriend why you want to fight me when you see me. Ooh. And that was the last conversation That's we tea. had. Oh, because she going to run up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what about you? you um, I appreciate when they whack as fuck. <laughs> I, I want your last nigga to be whack. I want your next nigga to be whack. Mm-hmm. I want every nigga that compares to me pales in comparison. Like, I just, because I want to look at you and be like, oh, yeah, this is cute for you, boo girl. This is... What about you, T? What you want? Mm, yeah. You seem, you. you seem like the type of bitch that says, you don't want the last thing to be whack because you'll be like, mm, mm, mm. You would you give that? But would you give credit to somebody if they wasn't whack? If they was fly and they was on their shit. Oh, they you, new boo? Would you be like, oh, oh I was okay. talking about the old boo. Oh, the old boo. Whatever. No, I'm saying you dating somebody now. You, Whatever you, it was. And you find out who they was with. Yeah, but their yeah. exes, if their exes was fly and their exes then had their shit together, would you give them. They credit like oh, okay yeah I would hope I ain't the best thing you ever had up until this point. you would hope oh no honey. like as far as like I mean the best that ever did it hmm. mm. I don't want you well, I'm very them, competitive I'm though I mean aren't we all bitch not if you used to losing girl I guess <laughs> <laughs> anyway have you guys ever been like friend zoned and if so how do you get out of that. 
<laughs> Why are you looking like No, because I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever been. I've never uh, been. I've never been in a friend zone and wanted to get out of a friend zone. Oh. I've been in friend zones, obviously, because I have friends. You never met somebody that was like off limits, say that cause, because they were in a relationship and you had to like wait your turn? Or. Oh, okay. Like I'm on that plan, double dutch, bitch. You just waiting to hop in like <laughs> this. You just be like sitting on the sideline, like, yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh. Okay, yeah, I have been there. Still there though. I haven't moved yet. Oh, so how are you gonna get out of it? Well, did they break? This it? is a situation where so you been on wait, so you going. Like, you like somebody? You courting somebody right now? Uh, no, no, he likes no, no, somebody no. that's off limits. I have a crush on okay. like a guy who does not know I have a crush on him. Okay, and I've known him for like seven years, but we don't speak regularly. So I might speak to him once every two years. Okay, here. Uh huh. Okay, so why are you not making a move? Because he's always in a relationship. He's a serial monogamist. And so then when that when it happens, you be like, oh, it's my, my time's now. And then oh. it'd be like, bitch, time's up. So if you if you get into an argument with your man, can mm-hmm. he go a week without calling you? No. Is that acceptable? Fuck no. <laughs> you can't go a day without calling me. Even if y'all beefing. Even if we beefing. I need you to call me. I may not answer, but I need for you to be calling well, me. What if he waiting on you to call him? It's not gonna happen. If you know okay. if you, if you're in a relationship with me, then you know what I give. Tomorrow, so you can go a week without Trey no, you talking. Can't, no, no, oh, <laughs> I'm just asking the question, baby girl, because you pop up queen. Yeah, you, can't. <laughs> you gotta talk to me all night. Legendary, queen, all day, legendary. Day. I mean, crawling through windows. But I get in an argument with you, and like if I start the argument, I'll be over it 20 minutes later. Like, what's up? See, that's good. But they don't get over it. I'm not gonna kind of. I'll shit. go to bed mad. Like yeah. you, I, I. That's no, you can't make me mad. I'm not getting over it that fast. I said, no. if I do something, I want you to get over it fast. No, I, that's why I need. To, I need <laughs> But that's for me. I need. I need. A, I need. I need to be in the type of relationship, or I need to deal with the type of person who can just let that shit go. Yeah, I'm not a let that shit go person. Yeah, yeah. So I need somebody need to, to balance me out. So I need somebody to be like, I know you mad. You need to get over it, or, yeah. or laugh it off, or yeah. laugh at me. Yeah. A nigga laugh at me when I'm mad. That'll turn me on. Really? It does. Cause and I'll that'll be like, piss me the fuck off. Depending. It turns me on. Like I'll be like, it shit ain't funny, it. and then I'll just end up like falling for you and like. Oh, cause you, you know. be getting mad over stupid shit. Apparently, I don't get mad over stupid shit, but I hold grudges. Like you do some dumb shit at three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday, I'm gonna be mad if you don't say nothing about it and you don't bring it up and we don't discuss it. I'm gonna be mad till three o'clock on well, you Saturday. Just, you afternoon. like to be mad? You need to bring it up and discuss it. I need. I, I mean, that's what I need. Both of us to do that. But so I need the type of guy that's going to bring that out of me. See, my niggas don't be liking to talk. I'll be trying to discuss everything. You do. I can. They be like, <laughs> I can see that from you. You have the hard conversations. Yeah. Just a pro- but I aspire to be it. more like that. I exp- I aspire to be more like you too. And you mm. you'll talk. You'll you'll bring it up. You'll talk yeah. about it because I can I can because I can't deal with tension in the room. It's like what's going on? Because you the type to be like you like the um you like the charade. You like the charade. I'm the thing. bone collector. Yeah. No, what, no. What you mean by charade? Oh, <laughs> like the, maybe not charade, more like Marlo, but you're like the candy. Uh, are you candy. a lesbian? Yeah. I'm you you want to get it all out in the open. Right. You're, I'm sick you're, of dancing around this You're shit. that friend. Tavares, for all those that are listening, Tavares is that friend that I have that will bring up the elephant in the room. And that's the a that's a elephant. good friend to have. It yeah. really is. Who we took to Bitch, until it's bad. Until it's bad. Bitch, until it's your elephant, she bring it up. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to get brought up if he has anything oh, to do with it. Oh, baby girl, it's getting brought the fuck up. Okay, let's play a quick game of do or don't. So you'll just say do or don't to this scenario. Uh-oh. Okay. My God, we have not. I, uh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, wait, what? Girl, it's new. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Do you give a pass to your boyfriend for a hookup? Nope. For a hookup, like he cheated. Hookup. Don't. Did you get a pass, girl? Hard pass, girl. Quick pass. This is quick fight. Quick. Do. <gasps> oh, okay. Dabrian. Wait, Tavares. What about you? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I'm, my answer probably don't to all of these. Oh, okay. Um, are breaks in a relationship? Okay. Is that a do or don't? Do or don't. Do. Damn. You like. Wait, what kind of break though? Because I know we, niggas like we right. felt we had a falling out and now we like we no longer. You know how sometimes you be with somebody together. for like six months, they be like, I think we should take a break. Ain't no fucking breaks, bitch. That's my attitude. Well, are we gonna get back you, together after the break? Well, I don't know, bitch. That's for y'all to figure it out, I guess. Oh well yeah, no, I'm gonna go with a dude too. Are you for yeah. breaks? Bitch, that's a break up. 
Breaks. I didn't say break. Take a break. Well, I know, but then if we don't get back together, we broke up. Okay, girl. Um, having someone other than your boo as your MCM or WCW. Oh, don't. don't. No. Bitch, you know, you know murder's the case that they gave me. Don't. So can it be a celebrity as an MCM? Nope. Do. Just, <laughs> just nobody don't. tangible. Bitch, fucking don't. Okay. Does a celebrity look like me? <laughs> no, he likes skin tall. <laughs> okay, so I got a story. Quick, fast, and hurry. Okay. Uh, my ex boyfriend, who I love dearly, and he's the only ex boy. Well, uh, never mind. So, anyway, ex boyfriend who I love dearly, he liked to watch porn. Mm-hmm. I don't watch porn. I don't understand porn. What? And you don't watch porn? No, I don't watch porn. I don't like it. I feel like sex is like a sport. I'd rather be a participant than a spectator. Okay. So, anyway, um, it's, it's a sport better yet, better played. Mm-hmm. Um,. He would watch porn, and the porn stars did not look like me. Mm. They'd be like Latino, mm. and I'm black, and so I would take issue when I would get to his house and I see like, you know, these Latino porns on the fucking TV, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Basically, you're cheating on me, mm-hmm. and I feel the exact same way mm. with MCM. So if they right. don't look like me, you're cheating on me. Okay, uh, it just can't be nobody bitch that I know. You could post a celebrity. I mm-hmm. guess. Don't post shit. How about you ain't got no Instagram or nothing? That's what I want. Good man. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for your significant other to hang out with your friends when you're not around? Hell no. Yes. (gasps) You so liberal. I I say do because we're my friends my friends in LA uh, I trust them mm, that's good. and they're, they're they're a lot more mature than the friends that I came grew up with so mm. I, I say you don't yes trust them I would say no. over mm-hmm. you. yes or don't for me yeah you definitely mm-hmm. yeah you can hang out with them you cause I feel like you'll have that one friend that's gonna let the the the, the flirt slide yep <laughs> like, you can go pick up my engagement ring with him though mm-hmm. but my friend's gonna tell me yeah but are you gonna break friend. up with him after that I'm gonna check him. Check. What's that? Oh. Well, well, what is he doing? I don't know. Whatever break you're up, doing. Well, I'm gonna break up with him because he flirted. Flirting with one of my friends? You fucking right. Mm. Baby girl, I'm gonna step him in this. You hanging out with my friends and I'm not around and you and you pushing up on one of them? Oh, and then now, they come you, back and tell now me. Now you pushing up is different. Flirting pushing is up just, and flirting just, is the same to me. Flirting is, and pushing up is the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yes. Yes. It's not the same to me. What's flirting to you? Flirting to me is. Like a laugh, a giggle, and a, a, like a, maybe like a little twinkle in the eye at each other. Oh, no, no, no. Bitch, you better not handle twinkle in the eye. You have a black eye. <laughs> pushing, <laughs> pushing up is like, what's up? Uh-uh. Oh, the it's twinkle is like, what's up? up right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Y'all so the petty. twinkle is, what's up? Hell. <laughs> um, oh, I done messed up my little thing. Do you constantly post your boo on social media? No. Sure, I ain't had a man since the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do you tell white lies to protect their feelings? Yep. Yes. What's you tell them look dick is good. You tell them it's theirs. Is that a lie? Is theirs at the moment? Ain't it? Bitch, no. <laughs> no. Mm. Mm. What kind of lie is a good lie to tell? What like, kind you of don't li- look fat in that. Or what kind of lie is a good lie? Your food to is tell? good and you can't cook. Um, okay, so I don't be telling real lies. I don't be telling white lies either. Oh shit! That's why I ain't got a man. <laughs> you don't lie to him. I don't like if I like you if I if I'm comfortable with anybody like mm-hmm. friend boo whatever I'm comfortable enough to be honest even when honesty hurts. Well, that's good. That's good. But actually, that's probably bad because they'll also see they'll witness me do the opposite with somebody that I'm not as close with, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, "Oh, you don't treat me like you treat so and so," and I'm thinking like, "Oh, it's because you know I like you more, mm-hmm. and I feel like I can be honest with you." Mm-hmm. I mean, I respect that. What about you? You lie to him. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, if the dick is pissed, I'm gonna tell you it's good. Mm. Yeah, well, I guess on that. So, right, should you be lying to him? Wait. No, I don't lie. Oh, I believe it. Actually, yeah. I don't even need to follow up. And on that note, girl, good night. See you next week. Tune in. Good night. Good night.